Hello folks, this is Matthew with River Ponics. Today is July 16th of 2016. Today I'm going to show you a natural way to uh, make a bug spray for a bug infestation on your plants. And uh, what I'm using is uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide. And believe it or not, food grade hydrogen peroxide has multiple uses and I will kind of show you on this list of the things that you can do with food grade peroxide. Mold, laundry, dishwasher, kitchen, use as a marinade, leftover tall salad, vegetable soap, vaporizer, deodorizer for pets in their drinking water and on the back side uh, insect spray house and garden plants for growth crop spray uh, many farmers are increasing crop yields by spraying with a diluted h2o2 water mixture for each acre add 5 to 16 ounces of 35 percent h2o2 peroxide to 20 gallons of water um, this is good for fungus and mildew control, uh, seed sprouting, and hot tubs. So it gives you an idea of uh, what you can do with food grade peroxide. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make a diluted form of uh, peroxide with sugar water. And you actually spray your plants with this, the foliage. And it works extremely well and it's a nice natural way to treat your plants without having to use pesticides and such. So this is the OxyTech and it's a concentrated 35% food grade. There, so there are no um, additives like you go to your local store and buy 3% um, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and they put additives in there so it's kind of a dirty peroxide. So you want to make sure you buy a reputable 35% uh, peroxide. Now you have to be careful when you do purchase this 35% food grade peroxide because there are a lot of scam artists out there and they will dilute their product and you will not be satisfied. Uh, this company here, Eagle Enterprises, they're in Whitley, Texas and there's their number. I have no affiliation with them but this is the genuine stuff here. So they do have a website as well. Um, if you can see, this bottle is f it's frozen, but the liquid inside does not freeze. So you store this in your freezer, and it preserves that. So what I have here is a, a quart of distilled water. I have one or a quarter cup of sugar, and I have my eye drop bottle for my peroxide. Now, with this one quart bottle of distilled water, you want to put, it calls for 16 drops of um, food grade peroxide, but I actually put 20 drops in, and then I add the quarter cup of sugar, and you mix it all together in that jar, and then you go out and spray your plants, and you'll see the results for yourselves. So I'll go ahead and perform this task, and I'll show you. There goes the sugar. There's my cat being nosy. And word of caution too, you don't want to, now I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This eyedropper is not working very well. 18, 19, 20. So there you go. Now you put your lid on, mix it up real well, put this in a spray bottle, and you're good to go. One word of caution with the peroxide, it's very potent, and you do not want to get on your skin because it will turn your skin white and it, and it will burn. So if you do get it on your skin you want to wash it off immediately but that is a quick overview 
of how to make a natural pesticide. Thank you.